forces acting on it from both sides are equal, so the net force is zero. This applies to all any other molecules of the liquids inside the liquids. Now, where there is a difference is those molecules at the surface of the liquid. Why? They are only being pulled from sideways and downwards. So, what is here is the upper side of the molecules on the surface will not be pulled upwards. They will be pulled downwards and sideways. In, uh, by doing so, those molecules will feel stretched. That is how we came up with the definition of surface tension. It only takes place at the surface of liquids. That is molecular explanation of surface tension. That is second objective made. I want us to see some of the case examples or example of the situation of surface tension in action. The first one is the one you are seeing there. Uh, a, 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 a needle or a razor blade can float on the surface of water. Not because the razor blade has a less density than water. No, it is because of surface tension. But when the surface tension is broken, the needle or the razor blade will sink. That is it. Uh, look at this example. The water has been filled almost you know, up to beyond the container, beyond the glass. It cannot fall out because of surface tension. This applies to when water is falling down from a period. Let me show you. Uh, you know, okay, so, uh, when water is falling out from a period, it cannot fall out directly. First of all, it will form a drop. A drop. That drop is being held back. 